Hello and welcome to the Daily Roundup. I am Sumedha. Take a look at our top stories of the day. How accurate are exit polls? And day after the exit polls, instability is taking place in Madhya Pradesh. We'd also show you a ground report of clashes in Kashmir's Shopian region. In our international segment, we'd be talking about Colombian ex-rebel Jesus Santrin's criti- how critical he is after his release from the re-arrest by the state forces. For our top story of the day, we'd be focusing on how accurate are exit polls. After the seventh phase of the polling, exit polls have been uh, have been released and they have shared their t- tallies on Sunday evening. Most major exit polls, which are conducted by the local media outlets, have put the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party, led by Narendra Modi and the National Democratic Alliance coalition, as winning a clear majority when re- results are actually announced on May 23rd. Modi's BJP has been fighting it out for the votes of about 900 million people against the main opposition Congress party, which is led by Rahul Gandhi and other national players as well. So over the course of the six weeks of polling, electoral rules have permitted that the publishing of national exit polls can only take place once polling ends on the final day. In the past, it is important to remember that the Indian exit polls have proved very unreliable in predicting precise seat tallies, both in national as well as state elections, given the size of the electorate as well as the, na- as well as the regional variations across the country. In 2014, most polls did, however, correctly put the BJP-led National Democratic Alliance as on track to secure a majority. The release of the polls have come after Modi had spent all day meditating in the Himalayan holy cave and when he offered prayers on the Kedarnath temple in the Garhwal region of Uttarakhand. In the upcoming national election of 2019, one must also be cognizant of the silent voter or the Bradley effect. The Bradley effect is a theory concerning observed discrepancies between stated voting preferences and actual voting behavior. For example, a voter stating their intention to vote for the BJP to a pollster but actually casting their ballot for the Congress or for any other party for that matter. Many have been raising questions about the accuracy of the exit polls and the agencies themselves. Here is what senior journalist Abhisar Sharma had to say. So, all exit polls have given the Prime Narendra Modi to the Prime Minister. एग्जिट पोल्स की माने तो अब हमें 23 तारीख का इंतजार भी करने की जरूरत नहीं है क्योंकि बीजेपी की बल्ले बल्ले हो रही है मगर उससे पहले कुछ चीजें जो तथ्यात्मक हैं जो फैक्चुअल हैं और आपको जानना बेहद जरूरी है नंबर एक क्या आप जानते हैं कि इन एग्जिट पोल्स में लगी दो ऐसी एजेंसीज हैं जो भारतीय जनता पार्टी के लिए ग्राउंड वर्क कर रही है जमीनी काम कर रही है सबसे पहला कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट क्या आप जानते हैं कि इनमें से एक एजेंसी जिसने भारतीय जनता पार्टी को 300 से ऊपर सीटें दे दी यह एजेंसी जो है यह एजेंसी में जो पैसा लगा है सर्वे में वो सट्टा बाजार का लगा है नंबर तीन क्या आप जानते हैं कि समाचार चैनल्स को यह नसीहत दी गई थी कि विपक्ष को जो आप आंकड़े दे रहे हैं उसे कम करके दिखाएं वो दबाव लगातार बनाया गया था और यही नहीं एक न्यूज चैनल जिसने भारतीय जनता पार्टी को 180 सीटें दी थी उन पर दबाव इस कदर बढ़ा कि उन्होंने बाद में इस आंकड़े को 250 के पास ला दिया ऐसे में आप खुद बताइए जब इतने सारे विरोधाभास मौजूद हैं तो हम एग्जिट पोल्स पर विश्वास क्यों करें Exit polls have often been subjected to criticism for their inaccuracy. The exit polls in 2004 and 2009 as well failed to accurately predict the results of the elections. In fact, the 2004 exit polls predicted a massive victory for the Atal Bihari-led NDA government. However, proving all exit polls wrong, the Congress staged a stunning comeback to form a coalition government. In 2009 too, most exit polls had predicted a hung parliament with the UPA as the single largest coalition. This time too, they were proven wrong as Congress on its own managed to win over 200 seats. For our second story of the day, we'll be focusing on the kind of instability that has come in after the exit polls. The BJP in Madhya Pradesh on Monday said that the Kamal Nath-led Congress government in the state should prove their majority in the assembly. 
the leader of opposition in assembly gopal bhargava said that this party uh, they have asked the governor anandi ben patel to convene a special session of the assembly to discuss important issues and test the congress government's strength he said and i quote that i am writing a letter to the governor for convening a special session of the mp assembly shortly we've been in a discussion about important issues such as the farm loan waiver and the test of the government's strength in madhya pradesh which has about 29 seats the news 24 today's chanakya survey gave the bjp 27 seats and the congress two seats with a margin of error of two seats the india today access my india survey gave 24 to 26 seats to the bjp and one to three seats to the congress the abp news nielsen said that the bjp may win 24 seats and the congress can only get five In 2014 if we were, if we were, were to understand the results the BJP had won 27 seats but the Congress wrested power from above, from it after 15 years in December's assembly election this year winning a slim majority in the 230 member assembly in the assembly polls the congress had won about 114 seats out of the 230 seats while the BJP came very close managing to bag about 109 seats For our third story of the day we'd be taking you towards Kashmir where clashes in Kashmir Shopian have led to a uh, serious problems where Asif Ahmed Pare a 13 year old boy he has also been left severely damaged uh, because of his uh, of because of the firing of the pellet guns his eyes have been severely damaged in South Kashmir Shopian region the pellets have gone deep into his eyes and have ruptured his eye as well and uh, doctors and other authorities on the grounds are suggesting that his chances of regaining sight are extremely thin looking at the severity of the damage he can also completely lose his eyesight So we're taking you to our ground report, which is sent by our correspondent Kamran Yusuf. Take a look at this report. Bolly, eight hundred rupees. Come on. मैं सो बगन गाड़ी में सुन रहे हैं तलाई में कोई नहीं तो मैं बता रहा हूँ तो मैं लाइन की अल्पा मैं बेह खबरी मज पे तुस बहुत लग बग सत बजे सत बज पे नुस पे बह जानपुर जानपुर पे इस्लामा इस्लामा पे नौ हमने इसको इतना खून खून से लतपत करते हुए देखा खून से लतपत हुए देखा कि हमने इसको पहचाना अपने होते हुए भी नहीं हमने इसको नहीं पहचाना तो बाद में जब हमारा छोटा एक भाई है यानी उसने कहा कि ये हमारा चिचरा भाई है उसने उसको बालों से पहचाना है तो उस, उसका जेब से वो मोबाइल निकाला गया तो ये हमारा चिचरा भाई था लेकिन हम कहते हैं कि हम कितने बदकस्मत हैं इसका जो बाप है वो अभी एक महीने से पहले यानी पुलिस थाने में बंद है क्योंकि खामा खा उसका कोई गुना नहीं है उसका कोई कसूर ही नहीं है तो उन्होंने उसको रात के 12 बजे या 2 बजे आगे बहुत ज़्यादा फौज आ गया था यहाँ तो उन्होंने उसको उठा के ले गया और कहा कि आपने यानी सिटिंग पैटिंग की है वो सात साल का आदमी है 
अब आप ही गौर करो कि आप ही तस्वुर करो कि सात साल का आदमी कहाँ कर संगबाजी कर सकता है पत्थरबाजी कर सकता है ये हम हम पर जुल्म नहीं तो और क्या है अब थाने 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 के पास जाते हैं वो कहते हैं कि आप फलानी जगह जाओ एस साहब से मिलो जब हम एस साहब से मिलने जाते हैं तो एस साहब अपना मुलाकात ही नहीं देते हैं तो अब हम क्या करेंगे देखो इसका कितना ये नुकसान हो गया है कितना गम पड़ गया है अब ये क्या करेगा उसका एक ही सहारा था एक ही बेटा था जो कमाता था जाता था मजदूरी करने के लिए और कमाता था पाँच सौ और अपनी इस माँ को ये माँ जो है इसकी ये भी अभी हार्ट पेशेंट है और छोटा भाई है और एक उसे एक बड़ी बहन है जो अभी शादी तक पहुँच गई है मैं इसी के गाँव के रहने वाला हूँ हम सुकोल पे बैठे हुए थे जब हम सुकोल से निकले तो उस टाइम इनकाउंटर ख़त्म हो गया था फिर हम जब सुकोल से निकले तो इसने बोला मैं अपने पुफी के घर आंगन से जाऊँगा हम पुफी के आंगन से जब निकले तो इसके आँखों पर पैलट लगे ये वहीं पर गिर गया मैं थोड़ी दूर चला गया मैं डर गया था मैं थोड़ी दूर चला गया फिर मैं वापस आया फिर मैंने इसको उठाया हमने फिर सोमू में इसको हॉस्पिटल जैनपुर ले लिया वो हमारा नज़दीकी हॉस्पिटल है वहाँ पे उन्होंने रेफ़र किया इसको इस्लामाबाद इस्लामाबाद से फिर हमने जब उन्होंने थोड़ी ट्रीटमेंट कर ली फिर इस्लामाबाद से इसको रेफ़र किया गया यहाँ एस एम एच एस सर ये इसका बाप भी ये गरीब आदमी है इसका बाप भी अंडर कस्टडी है तो हमने फिर इसको यहाँ पे लाया अब ये बिल्कुल पड़ा हुआ है बेड पे पड़ा हुआ है Our international section, Colombian ex-rebel Jesus Santrich, is critical after his uh, release and a dramatic rearrest by the state forces. The peace process in Colombia has reached a new low point. The release and the immediate rearrest of the political prisoner Jesus Santrich is a clear sign that the Colombian government has sacrificed its duties to defend people in order to follow the dictates of U.S. imperialism. Santrich was a prominent leader. of the now demobilized revolutionary armed forces of colombia he was also part of the peace negotiation team for the group and now is a is a member of the legal political party common alternative revolutionary force jesus santrich has been in captivity for about 13 months since his arrest on april 9th 2018 he is accused of trafficking cocaine to the us despite there being no evidence against him A U.S. court had demanded his extradition as well. On May 15th, the special peace jurisdiction released a ruling barring the extradition of Jesus Santrich and demanding that he be released immediately. They also stated that his case would be dealt with the JEP itself and not through the ordinary justice system. Their reasoning was that the attorney general and the U.S. court had ordered for his arrest had not provided sufficient evidence to show that he his supposed involvement in the crime had been committed after the signing of the peace agreements, which would have excluded him from being possessed through the JEP. Santrich was re-arrested on May 17th, and Santrich's release. an illegal recapture was met with anger and sadness by the colombian activists and human rights defenders from across the world that's all that we have for you today on this episode of the daily roundup to follow these stories and many more log on to our website www.newsclick.in subscribe to our channel on youtube follow us on facebook and twitter thank you for watching